So here's what I'm dealing with today, guys. Rain and about 69 degrees. So obviously, no riding. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna work in the garage today. We're gonna install some Avon grips. So all right, guys, today we're gonna be installing some Avon grips. And in order to do this, we're gonna need a Torx 25, a Torx 27, we're gonna need a razor knife, some lube, and whatever wrenches you need to loosen your throttle cables. So that's about all that we're gonna to need to do this. So let's go to the clutch side of the bike and get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna to need to remove the switch housing. So in order to do that, we use a Torx 25 and we just come in here and we remove these screws. There's one on the bottom and one on the top. I've already removed the one on the bottom just to save some time. So we remove the top screw and we pull the switch housing off. And then you have to remove the grip. It all depends on what kind of grip that you have. Uh, I have some bit wells on here, they are not glued on. So I'm just gonna use some lubricant underneath the grip to pull it off. Some of the grips, like this Avon that we're getting ready to use, it is just gonna slide right off. If the rubber grips are glued on, easiest way to do is just take a razor knife, cut down the thing and just peel them off and throw them away. But I'm gonna try to save this one, so we're gonna squirt a little lube underneath it and see if we can't get it off. All right, the lube situation is not working, so we're gonna take a razor knife, and take it off. So now that the grip's off, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this down. Now with the Avon grip, you're gonna notice the flange here. It has an indention. So what that's gonna do is that's actually gonna hold this grip into place. So in order to get this grip on, we're gonna to have to remove the switch housing and reset it. So we're gonna to have to loosen up our clutch handle just a little bit, and that's gonna allow the switch housing to come loose. These two pieces kind of fit together, so without loosening up your clutch, it's really hard to get the switch housing to come loose. So from there, we're just gonna slide our grip on and get it into our switch housing. These do not need to be glued. Like I said, these little flanges here, if you can see it, those actually hold the grip on. So what we do is we reinstall our switch housing. Might have to give that grip a twist to find the sweet spot. There we go and reinstall our screws. And then we do that, and we tighten our clutch back up. All right, now that our clutch is back where we want it, we're gonna go ahead and snug down the switch housing screws. There are torque values for these. Uh, I just do it by hand because I've done it so many times, but in your service manual, there are gonna be torque specs for each one of these. Uh, I advise if you're new to this, to check out those torque specs and torque them down to the proper spec. I kind of have a feel of where these are. You don't want to get crazy with them, just snug them up. There we go. Clutch side's done. That's the easy side. Let's go over to the throttle side. A little bit more going on over there, so let's take a look and see what that entails. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do on the clutch side is you wanna collapse your throttle and idle cable. If you don't know how to do that, I'll put a card right up here. I have a video on how to adjust your throttle and idle cable, so just refer to that video if you don't know how to do this step. But you wanna go ahead and collapse your throttle and idle cable, and now we're gonna go ahead and remove the switch housing. Same as the other side, one underneath, one on top. All right, so now what we're gonna to wanna to do is remove the cables from the grip. Do not lose these. It'll be a very bad day if you do. And we're gonna remove this side and we're gonna pull the grip off. So I'm gonna show you why I'm removing this. This is a Bitwell grip with the Bitwell Whiskey Throttle. And what's going on, this is a metal piece. And as you can see, the wear marks here and the wear marks here, this is rubbing and grinding on the inside of my switch housing. And what happened the other day when I was out, this thing actually got stuck and it held my throttle open because it was metal to metal. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna order the plastic sleeve from Harley, and if I ever wanna go back to the Bitwell grips, I'm not gonna use the whiskey throttle. The metal on metal is just causing trouble. It's grinding itself down in there. So the Avons are plastic, so I don't have that problem. So let's go ahead and let's get these Avons installed on this side. All right, so in order to get these on, we're just gonna slide these into the switch housing, go ahead and attach our throttle an idle cable, and to do that, we take these little pieces, these little brass clips, and then we do our same to our throttle. I mean, our idle cable is the one in the back. That is installed, so all we do is we go back, we put our switch housings back on, 
All right, so after we snug down our switch housing, we go ahead and we adjust our throttle cables. Again, if you don't know how to do this, please refer to the other video. I'm gonna leave a card right up here that'll direct you right to it and you'll have all the information you need on how to adjust your throttle and idle cable. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. So all right guys, after I have my throttle and idle cable adjusted, we go ahead and we check. Got a snap back with the bars pointing straight forward. Snap back with them turned all the way to the right. And a snap back when we turned all the way to the left. So that is about it on installing grips. They're pretty easy to do. Not much, the hardest thing is just messing with the throttle and idle cable. If you go to that video that I referenced earlier, you shouldn't have any problem with it. I think these Avon grips look pretty good. We're gonna give them a run. They're definitely a lot smoother on the throttle side than the Whiskey throttle tube. When I first put that on, it worked great, but over time, it motion and the smoothness deteriorated over time. Not too happy about that at all. So, but these Avon grips, like I said, they're working smooth, they're tight. I think they look pretty good. So we're gonna give them a run. And this installation is gonna go over, if you wanna do Harley grips or Avon or Kuriakin or anything like that, it's exactly the same. So this should help you out along the whole span of different styles and types of grips out there. So I hope this video helped you out, guys. If you liked it, please hit that like button for me. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. There should be a little button right down there in the lower right-hand corner that'll get you hooked up. And like always, guys, ride safe and be careful out there. Later.